it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm recreating some of my favorite looks from The Notebook. These are Ali Hamilton 40 inspired styles and I've been wanting to film this video for forever and if you've been watching me for several years, Lots of you guys have requested it, but I was holding out because I wanted to find dresses that were similar to the movie. So throughout this video, you'll see some pretty accurate pieces because I got, um, well, I found a site where you can actually order like a replica of it in your size. So it took a while to get to me, but I'm excited. The video's here. And uh, if you enjoy, <laughs> make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I create a lot of movie and TV recreations, either hairstyles or makeup. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification button so you don't miss an upload and I also picked out some really gorgeous red lip combos for today's video I went with luxurious picks because anytime I can throw in some Charlotte Tilbury like I am there so this is one of my favorites which you'll see but if you do want to see a makeup tutorial for Ali Hamilton Ali Hamilton <laughs> then make sure you let me know in the poll if you'd rather see high-end makeup or drugstore let me know and anyways let's get started Starting off with look number one, I'm wearing this gorgeous dress from Odd Cloth, and firstly taking some dry shampoo from Aveda and bringing it through my roots to freshen up. About two inches back, combing the crown, and we're going to start teasing this section. I recently did a video over on the Aveda channel, and one of my favorite products from them is the Air Control Hairspray. I've been using it a ton recently, so I'm just using that to help my tease, and I'm not doing a ton of teasing very lightly so that the style looks put together from all angles, and this will give a touch of volume too, of course. And we're not just teasing from the back, but also bringing in a little tease to each side of the part and then smoothing over. And we're going to curl the top portion towards the face so that we have a medium sized curl in the shape of a poof. Let this sit for a second and then I'm just brushing it out, giving a slight twist and then adding in a bobby pin. With the hair directly in front of that piece, we're going to do the same steps, curling towards the face, letting the curl sit for a minute and then brushing out creating a very tiny twist and pinning it in place. And this is how I'm going to cheat that volume when I have long hair. Next piece directly along the hairline, I'm curling away from the face and I'm creating a pin curl. And this is going to cover up the original bobby pins I've done. I'm touching up this gorgeous front section with the Aveda hairspray and this is really going to seal in the style and we're really going to get that exact sweeping motion without having the same hair length or haircut and I'm adding a little bit of tighter curls around the ear, brushing it out and then looping these curls up shorter and I'm adding some bobby pins to cut the length in half for those face framing curls. Since my hair is quite a bit longer than Allie's, I'm starting the curl about where my shoulder is and then once I have the main curls done, I'm adding a couple of tighter curls up top and then I'm brushing this all together and giving a tease to the bottom, wrapping up the ends into a pin curl. Once I have the pin curl shape, before I actually pin it in place, I'm loosening up those brushed out waves for volume and then pinning and adding hairspray again. And then moving to the other side, take the top portion and twist towards your face, poof it up slightly and add a bobby pin. And now for the decorative white flower that looks so nice in the hair, I got mine from Michaels. And then same steps, so you want to start curling about where your shoulder length is, and I'm curling towards the face still and making sure I have some tighter curls up top so that when I brush it out the waves don't get lost. Teasing pin curling and before I actually pin in place, poofing up the hair for lots of volume. And now the final step is to add the L'Oreal Colorista in rose gold. This is what I always use when I want my hair to appear more orange based on camera, but I do enhance the saturation. So this is more just for fun with the video so that it looks more true to character. But this hairstyle without any color change is just so classic and gorgeous. And I really hope some of you guys will try it out and tag me. And for my lipstick, I'm adding some of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury makeup, Hot Lips Lipstick in Tell Laura, a warm orange red matte lipstick, and this is the most 40s red out of the video. Tell me now what's on your mind. You're getting bored, right? Emotions run and dry. Oh, say my name. 
And moving on to look number two, Allie's twisted pigtails on her ice cream date with Noah. Check out this dress replica I have. I absolutely love it. And after brushing out the hair, I'm draping half of the hair over in a loose diagonal instead of creating a center part where you see the scalp. And now for Ali's hair, it looked like a very simple twist where you would just roll the hair backwards and add in hair along the hairline, pinning in place. But for some reason, this always loosens up on my hair and it gets weirdly poofy around my ears. So this is how I create a similar look that I know will stay put. I divide my hair into two and then I'm twisting the two sections around each other, bringing in a small section each time from the hairline. And then taking the leftover hair as a third section, I'm creating one tight, normal braid before tying off with an elastic. Now this twist looks a bit too uniform and not quite the texture of the twist that looks more like a roll that we want. So loosen the twist up and then fold the loose flaps over with a bobby pin. And then brush the strands backwards to kind of group them together. Wrap the base of the pony with a small section of hair. And this part is totally up to you. If you have long hair, you can rock it. But I decided to make my hair up here shorter and fuller by twisting the hair, fluffing up the twist, flipping the ponytail up in half, and then sticking bobby pins back into the base of the pony. Once again, loosening up the hair for this drapey, full, shorter looking ponytail. And on the other side, same deal, start creating a simple twist by taking two pieces and adding in portions from the hairline into each twist you do, and then create one stitch of braid to help incorporate all the hair. Use an elastic, and once your pigtail is secured, start loosening and pinning to get more of the desired effect of a smoother roll rather than a twisted look. Wrap around the base of the pony with some hair and secure with another small elastic. Colorista spray and boom, there are my Ali inspired pigtails. Of course this one I had to tweak and make work for me, but this really does stay put and is super cute and very similar to the movie. And my lipstick pick for this look is Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Red Carpet Red, and this is a true ruby red matte lipstick, perfect for this iconic dress. In your Look, I actually watched a deleted scene to get a closer look at the hair and makeup. I'll have it linked down below and it's super cool. It's Ali getting ready to go see Noah. And we have a unique style with pin curled bangs. I tried this look several times till I got it right. First create a deeper side part. And this step is gonna seem random, but it helps so much. Take a small section and tee slightly. Drape across the forehead and pin behind your ear. This is gonna help when we start to pin the pin curls so they have something to grip onto. Here I'm dividing out the three sections that will become those pin curls and draping to the other side so they're out of the way. And let the teasing begin. We want a bit of volume at the back and at the sides. And here I'm using a teeny tiny curling wand, the smallest one I have, and like I did in the first look, starting the curl where I want the hair length to be shortened to. And I'm creating these little curls towards the face. You can totally leave these tiny curls to cool and because they're so small they will shorten the hair length quite a bit or you can brush them out and pin up with a couple bobby pins like we did in look one. Before creating the pin curls let's tease a section right by the ear and twist into a poof for some volume and this is going to balance out the style and of course replicate it like Ali's. And with a bigger curling wand create that first curl. You want to place the wand under the hair and then coil the hair around the barrel in a downward motion and then pin in place to cool. Repeat these steps twice more. And tease, twist, and pin on the other side. I twisted the hair into a vertical roll so that I could wedge the bobby pin straight through it along with the hair on the scalp for that rounded shape instead of twisting backwards. And we are curling again towards the face piece by piece. First drop those curls. And then using some hairspray, you wanna spray this onto that curl and while the hairspray is still drying, 
roll that pin curl back up and I just use the photo for reference a lot and pin the bottom of the section of this pin curl into the hair that we laid across the forehead at the beginning. Only bobby pinning the bottom portion of this curl lets the top have more volume and more of that soft, uninterrupted, coiled look. The placement of these curls is also on a diagonal. Again, I just looked at the picture for when I was tweaking the style of each little loop there. Spray and you're done. And of course, because I have long hair, I do have to adjust a lot of these styles, but you can totally repeat the steps and it'll be a lot easier for you if you do have shorter hair. P.S. This dress is also from Mod Cloth, and okay, this is totally unrelated, but I'm a huge Hailey Kyoko fan, and she has a line also at Mod Cloth, so check it out. The site has such a variety of vintage-inspired pieces. And finally, this lipstick is the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips in Miranda May, actually inspired by Miranda Kerr, and it's a bright coral pink matte lip that when you just dab this onto the lips, it gives a really gorgeous flash of natural color. And finally, let's put on the most iconic dress and do the updo in the canoe. This updo looks simple, and it is, but it took me so many times because I couldn't get the front portion exactly how I wanted. So first curl the very top section, going backwards to help the hair flow, and I created a very loose twist, brought in the under section, and then pinning both of these upwards, and then playing with that bottom section to drape near my eyebrow. And the rest of this style is super easy. You just want to twist, adding in hair tightly. And this was the step that I said with the pigtails comes undone a bit. So you want to make sure that you use quite a few bobby pins. And don't loosen up this section, keep it tight. Then on the other side, again a bit of teasing. I created a small twist to start it off and then I'm wrapping the hair into the twist along the hairline and pinning in place. And lastly, grouping these two sections together with a couple more bobby pins. Lightly brush out the pony and then roll this hair upwards into a bun shape. And this is gonna be a bit all over the place, but using bobby pins, just mold this how you want it to be. The bun was a little low, so I took the middle section and made sure to pin it higher. And this final retro red I'm using is one of my favorite drugstore picks. This is Revlon Fire and Ice. And this specific shade came out in the 50s, so not quite the 40s, but I can't believe that this shade has been around for so long and there's so much history behind it. So there are some of my favorite red lips in this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you'll try out some of these Ally Hamilton inspired looks. And if you do, make sure you tag me because I love to see your guys' photos and to feature you in these videos. So here are a couple of my favorite recreation photos. You guys look amazing. And if you saw, like I added a scent for this video and I picked Chanel number no. five, this is my mom's. And I was like, oh, it's so classy. Like this will be perfect. <sighs> I featured this in a couple videos and I want to love it so bad, but on my skin, like not on other people's skin, on mine, it smells like diapers. Anyways, I do have a couple bloopers for today's video. Things just go wrong sometimes. There was a pesky fruit fly, so here's some of that footage. in the comments what your two all-time favorite romantic movies are maybe one of them's notebook let me know the other one and if you want to see more romantic styles i will have a playlist linked in the eye this month will be normal videos but after that my set will be a little bit different so say goodbye to this set in a few videos it will be no more hopefully i'll have a way better set because i mean i, I never thought that this one was all that great but i tried anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next